Okay, so we've got Karina and Christian. Of course, you know, Julie, we're on our way to go look at some real estate here in Brajov. So, ready? Let's go. If you're new to our channel, Julie and I retired to travel the world with our two dogs. And along the way, we're checking out what the residency programs are like in different countries and what the expenses and costs are. And we'll also look at real estate. So today we're jumping into the Brajov real estate market to see what it's like to buy a home here, what the cost may be, but we'll also look at what the rent might be for a home. And if you were buying it as an investor, the Airbnb rate. So Brajov is the seventh largest city in Romania with 350,000 people living in the metro area. The neighborhood we're starting off in is near the Carisi Mall and was built in 2018 to the present. So it's a newer neighborhood. Hey, Hi. nice to see you. Nice to Ready to go look at some properties? Yes. Hello. Hello. We met up with our primary contact, Simona from AS Immobilier Realty, as well as her partner, Christina, before we went into the first property, which is a penthouse. Simona arranged for Alex, a developer of this project, to join us. Now, this will be the most expensive property that we're going to be looking at today, but it's in the heart of a new, vibrant community. Okay, so we're going into the penthouse on this building here with Alex, the developer. Each unit comes with its own storage down in the basement of 10 square meters, as well as a reserved parking space out front. We have nice weather today it's beautiful yes today yeah. maybe tomorrow we have winter ah, i know we <laughs> just Russia. had snow okay for for this apartment we have uh, 120 uh, square meters mm -hmm. util and uh, for the balcony we have uh, 144 square meters any asking yes. price it's uh 244 uh, thousand. 244,000 euro? Yes. 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 Okay. Euro. Maybe it's uh, 150. 150 a night? A night. Okay, so we're coming into the area here. So in the, this is the kitchen. So you'll uh, buy your own kitchen cabinets and your, your um, appliances. Also light fixtures will be on you to provide what you would like to put in. And so this is a pretty big spacious living room and it opens up to this great deck on the outside and coming through this direction to the right you're going to have the first of two bathrooms so you've got the bathroom over here and over here, you've got a storage area, laundry area. And here's the first of three bedrooms. It's the second bedroom. And then in this bedroom, you've got a area that you could probably make into a closet. And over here, you've got the master bath, pretty spacious. And then the master bedroom component that also opens up out here to the balcony. For this apartment, it's about uh, 100 euros per month. Okay, so that's like for, uh, the maintenance? For maintenance, for clean everything in a. Uh, uh, yes. For elevator, green spaces. Electricity in the, in the block, no, in the house. Alex was able to show us some pictures of a penthouse just like this one that was furnished. It's the same. This is the balcony. He makes something uh, close with the, the glass in the balcony. Room. Uh, 
details, details, the kitchen and the living, the bathroom, another bathroom, the bathroom, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Just like kitchen. Yeah. Okay, so this has 10 square meters of storage yes. down in the basement Maybe also. Square meters. Square meters. Okay, so that's 110 square feet. Mm -hmm. Alex shared with me that the balcony is very sturdy, that some tenants have put small pools as well as a jacuzzi out on the balcony. So about 5,000 euros to put a nice kitchen in here. But very quality for, one. for a good, good kitchen, you need to pay something like uh, 5,000 euros for a nice kitchen. With yeah. all the stuff you need for a nice place like this you're yes. not going to want to go cheap yes. before we head on to the next properties julie and i we're going to go to the mall and scope it out a little bit and show you what's in this neighborhood so this is the caressi mall and you're going to see it's pretty modern you've got a lot of things that you'll find in a lot of malls around the world but there's also an Ashan in here that is huge the largest one i've seen which is kind of like a super Walmart for Americans, but normally I've just seen them as grocery stores. The inside of the mall, you can feel kind of a festive atmosphere. There's a train to take little kids around and do a little sightseeing. But most importantly, there's coffee. So we're gonna stop and grab ourselves a cup of Java and check out a place called Toucans here in the mall and we'll share the cost and experience with you. So we went to Toucan Coffee and this was what we had. It was a refreshing stop between looking at houses. Okay, so we got our little uh, cherry tart here with ice cream that we pretty much have ate. Two berry smoothies. And our out the door was 54 Ron. We noticed that there were several different coffee places within the mall, and two cans tried to put uh, across kind of a hip vibe. They played some pretty decent music, but as you know, if you've ever done anything with YouTube, you've got to watch out for copyright laws, so I've got to turn the volume down so that I don't get a copyright claim. But let's look at some of the prices of the food and offerings here. And you can do your own conversion based on what you might like to order. So today's conversion rate is $1 equals 4.54 Romanian lei. 1 euro is equal to 4.94 Romanian lei. And then 1 British pound is equal to 5.93 Romanian lei. We're going to check out some food court prices while we're here. I think most of you will find that the prices for the food items here in the food court are probably a little bit lower than what you're used to seeing in most of your countries. But again, that's all really dependent upon where you're watching this video from. Now, as a reminder, when Julie and I are traveling to different countries, we use I Am Global Medical Health Insurance as we go to different countries. So if you're a traveler, a missionary, uh, expat, or a student overseas, and you're looking for medical coverage, go to the video link and check out the link for I Am Global, or you can email me at warrenjulietravel at gmail.com, and I'll send you the information for the I Am Global link. And if you do use the link, I will receive a commission. I am appointed with I Am Global. And as a reminder, Julie and I are also on Facebook, so if you want to follow us in real time, go to Facebook, look for Warren, Julie, travel under the Facebook groups. That well, looks like you're in my neighborhood now. Huh? <laughs> sorry. So I'm sorry. We're going to be leaving this neighborhood and we're heading about uh, 10, 12 minutes away. And this location is about a 10 minute drive from the old town of Brajov. It was constructed in 2016 and it looks to be a pretty vibrant neighborhood. There were a lot of children out playing in the green space and parks while we were here. So let's go ahead and go on up into the apartment. Okay, so this house is 74 square meters. It's a 
167,000 euro. So in the inside here we have the kitchen and it's got the oven and the four burners. Looks like that's gas. It's a very nice upscale kitchen. And there's two balconies in here. And so this nook here, you look over the park. And then over in this area, there's a balcony that would look out towards that park. And then, and then we come in to this area. And we have the uh, living room in this area. And it's a good size, spacious area. And we come through here, the bathroom. Good size, it's got the tub. And inside we have the master. There's a nice balcony off the master for drying clothes and getting a nice view. And it's got a good size closet area here. So we've got a built-in closet, which is not very common in Europe. This also has a second bathroom. And inside this bathroom, it's got a shower. And right now there's not a shower curtain there, but there's the shower. And over here, we've got two adorable kids. They don't come with the house and they've got their bunk beds in here. How you doing kids? Hi. Say hi. hi, hello. And they will come on back out this direction. And we have the owner here and I'm sure she's gonna be sad to sell. One thing that was pointed out to us that from the window, you can actually see the ski resorts up in the mountains and by the way, if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you'd like to follow along as Julie and I explore what it's like to live in other countries and other places. In uh, this complex apartments, uh, like in the Korea Sea, you pay a maintenance fee of around 200 lays, like 14 euros, 40 euros, sorry. Okay, so 200 lei a month for... The HOA basically yeah. to take care of the building. Yeah. Yes, the elevator, the the green space, the things like that. Yes. The stuff like that. Yeah, Super. it's a lot of green space. And uh, if we see in us uh, in another side, it's a place for the kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, this development make for them a different uh, party for children. Make here a live music. It's very nice. We really enjoyed our visit here at this apartment and we really could have hung out here for a while and visited with the owner. She was very, very hospitable. Now the next property that we're going to is within walking distance of the old town and just a very short couple minute drive outside of the old town. And this one, unfortunately, we could not actually get inside of. So we are going to do a quick virtual tour of this location it's an Airbnb currently and so there were tenants in there so this location has a 50 square meter property that has also 25 square meters of garden space it's a 78,000 euro property and it currently rents for 30 to 50 euro a night based on the season and the length of stay so that's a pretty good return on that investment dollar Beyond this being an Airbnb at the current time, it would be a great place to potentially live and for a long-term renter if that's what you chose to do as well. But for more information on this property, go ahead and contact Simona directly and she can also give you the Airbnb history and details of this property as well as other properties in the area. The next home we're going to check out is in a residential area not far from the old town within probably about a 10 to 12 minute walk the brown home there is our target property that we're going to be looking at and this is a regular house with a good sized piece of land and a large storage area in the back now this is a nice big yard Uh, 310 uh, square meters. meters. Does that yeah. does that building go with it too? Yes. The storage area. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's included. Yes. And is 
there a attic uh, space up there? Okay. Oh, very cool. Very nice, but uh, it That's, can be. It's a good arranged. storage area. Yeah, place yeah, to place, to, area. place to put some bottles of wine. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, put your can, tools. Yeah, it can be arranged. Yeah. Okay, so this house is 190,000 euro and 75 square meters. And it's a two bedroom. And as we saw on the outside, there's a lot of outside area. There's a basement, there's an extra storage building. This is the kitchen. And so it's got a stove top, an oven, you have a pantry area and the water heater. And there's Julie. Hello everybody. Hello. Coming over here you have a bedroom. And you see there's a radiator heat in here. And coming around the corner you have another bedroom. There's a closet. And you don't often see the built-in closets. Normally it's going to be a wardrobe type of setup. And then here is the living room. So this would be a cozy residential neighborhood with some land, a backyard. And everything here remains, so it's a furnished apartment. Our furnished house, I should say. We hope that you enjoyed today's video as we looked at properties around Brajov, Romania. Now, as a reminder, Brajov is one of the premier areas in the country of Romania. If you're looking for property in this area, you can check out our friends over at AS Immobilier. Their website is listed below in the video description. And as a reminder, Julie and I, we're traveling the world with our two dogs. We're trying to see what it's like to live in other countries, other cities, and we're sharing our experiences and expenses with you. We also do the tourist and adventure things, and we'll visit with different experts and expats. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a like. And until next time, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.